Hey y'all, what's poppin'? Don't tell my man I've been shopping. It's JoJo here at Black and Dainty because black girls can be dainty. Y'all, I'm so excited. Today we're gonna be doing a Sephora haul slash recommendations video for the sale. So um, let's get right into it because this is big. Let's just dive in, let's dive in. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna grab and go. Let's do it, all right. So first, we're gonna start with the Cali Ray uh, Blurring Primer. Amazing. I already have the full size of this waiting for me to crack open. If y'all see the set, it has like the full size primer and the setting spray together. It was on sale. I hope it's still available for you guys. Get it. Such a good deal. And this primer is amazing. And honestly, this little tube lasted me a good while. Um, so yeah, as you guys see, I didn't use her up. I used her up. I really love it. I have it on right now. Come on. Eat. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so love this primer, uh, let's move on. I sound like Sheree when I said that just now. She'd be like, I move on, but like, no really, let's go, let's go. Next, we have Pat McGrath blush. Choke on my baby. Okay, next we have the Pat McGrath, <laughs> is that a tongue twister for y'all too? Because Pat McGrath. Next we have the Pat McGrath, <laughs> why? I'm saying Pat. Okay, y'all, blush, right? Beautiful, stunning, stunning. This is in the color Paradise Venus. It's like a soft, corally color. And I was like, mm, is this gonna look orange on my skin? Stunning, stunning. You see it, you see it. It glides on beautifully, it's buildable. The pigment, the, 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 that, love it. High quality, this was like $18 or something like that worth every penny okay get it best blush next we have this makeup by mario brush this is just the foundation brush this is the f4 foundation brush i love it like absolutely love it i use the smaller end when i'm going under my eye kind of like a concealer blush but like just to smooth out my foundation before i go in with my concealer but i love it it's it's amazing it's it's soft, it's just the perfect amount of dense. It's not like overly, overly dense where it's like stiff, like you're doing like a bronzing brush. Like it's a perfect foundation brush and I don't feel like it sucks too much product. Amazing. This was about $30 or so, worth every penny. I completely love it. Next we have the Ilia uh, Mascara. Guys, this brush, this brush for my bottom lashes is like that. So they have like, one side of it is good for volumizing and then there's a side that looks like a comb literally and it makes my bottom lashes so long it's amazing like i've ran into a lot of mascaras that are like lengthening and volumizing at the same time but no 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 this actually is like i can see the difference in the two sides of the brush it's amazing it's ridiculous hopefully you guys can pick it up in the little b-roll i shot for you all but I love it, amazing. This little mini size was $13 and it lasts for a long time. I actually just bought another mini just because I think I just like the minis. <laughs> Next we have this Jack Black Lip Balm. They have a set for like $22 on the website. Um, I believe if you just get one, it's $10 amazing super hydrating i actually got this because kiko beauty is always raving about it and i was like oh let me try it like i saw it on sale one day and i was like oh let me try it and i'm in love like i'm a lippy girl i love lip glosses lip oils i'm a lip connoisseur like you see them you see them i'll play about them okay they stay glossy they stay popping they stay hydrated and this lip balm has like literally trumped all my other lip balms as my favorite. I, I'm obsessed with it. So I'm definitely going to be ordering another set. They come in different scents. Um, this is the Shea Butter one. I have a Peppermint one. And then there's like a third one as well. I'm so sorry. I'll just post it for you guys on the screen so you can see. But um, swear by these. Next we have the Tarte uh, Tape Shape Concealer. I currently use that under my eyes. I got it in the shade deep sand i think this is so pretty it brightens without being like too too like i haven't i'm just venturing into the like under eye brightness realm i'm not quite there where it you know you see the block of just blonde brightness right here i'm not quite there yet i found that this blends into my skin 
really well but like still obviously it's not just my skin tone so I really like it um I don't have anything bad to say about it and y'all see it y'all see it it's looking good it's looking good and honestly this little guy was pretty affordable I love just buying minis to try I think it's like so smart like I I love it so definitely try it out and I think you guys will love it as well next we have tower 28 this is their lip jelly lip gloss um this is in the shade spicy y'all i got it on right now let's talk let's talk gorgeous Go gorgeous i was not expecting this to be so pretty holy smokes it's hydrating it's pigmented it's not all sticky i'm in love with this lip gloss i'm gonna get another color like they ate they ate with this completely worth it and i'm pretty sure it's affordable i think this was like 26 bucks it's like that this is this is good this is good better than the dior lip oil yeah yeah this is this is amazing like i can rave about this i can really rave about this let me just let me keep moving okay this is the huda beauty this is the mini banana bread uh setting powder y'all this is nice i actually love the fragrance that it um smells like she just recently turn the fragrance that's in here into a perfume y'all it's the easy bake perfume uh so now you guys can actually buy it those of us that actually love how it smells i personally am not gonna purchase it if it's a great price point it's like 64 dollars i just personally don't need it you know i shop a lot so i really have to be strict on myself like do you need this i don't need it and I, I have enough florals in my collection but it's it's just like a tuberose floral scent yeah, it's nice, it's fresh, two rows, blah, blah, blah. It's cute, cute. Definitely a nice beginner fragrance, for sure. But um, now, setting powder-wise, this is nice. This is really nice, guys. It blurs, instantly mattifies. I love it. And I don't feel like it's, I don't feel like it's too bright compared to like using just a completely white setting powder like this. That little hint of like yellow nesting hair blends really well with my skin tone. I feel like I'm not like too yellow compared to like other banana powders. So really love this. This is the mini size and I believe it's like $28 but I will list it on the screen. Next we have the Refi Eyebrow Brush thingamajig. What's the official name of this? Y'all know what I'm saying. The eyebrow gel. Amazing. Amazing. Um, This is not a super strong hold but it has such a unique brush and i actually really like it because i feel like it prevents you from putting too much product on your eyebrows and it makes like hair like strokes beautiful i will show you guys in the b-roll amazing i i love it i feel like it whips your brows into shape immediately i got it in the shade black and at first i was like oh what if it's too black but um i feel like it works for me i really like it i'll try out their dark brown just to see how it is but the black works I love it I don't have anything bad to say about it I feel like it's worth every penny and it was about like 20 something bucks I keep trying to like remember the prices for you guys but um yeah super affordable of course not like two dollars affordable but compared to Sephora's other products this is affordable I love refined products in general I feel like their brand is amazing they just have really good quality stuff so yeah next I have my this is my like die hard favorite hall of famer this is the fenty beauty mattifying concealer um this is the og i keep i, I keep one of these on me at all times i love it i actually use it as foundation yes you heard correctly i recently just purchased my first ever foundation no 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 my third ever foundation but like i actually plan on using this one um i don't like foundations i have oily skin and I just don't like the way it makes my face feel and it just usually feels heavy it usually feels like I just want to slide right off I just I'm not a fan of foundation so all of these years of me wearing makeup I've always used uh, concealer as my foundation I just always have but um, yeah this is my jam I am a perfect shade 445 in this I have nothing bad to say about it it blends well it doesn't dry off fast but it also doesn't stay too too wet 
I feel like it matches me perfectly. I feel like it's full coverage. This is an amazing concealer, y'all. Like, I have nothing bad to say about it. Like, this is, this is my favorite. It's my all-time favorite. Well, recently, I've tried to dive into other concealers to see if I love them as much as the Fenty Beauty. And so, literally, y'all, y'all kept raving about the House Labs foundation. I was walking towards it, and some way, somehow, I was like, concealer. I just, I couldn't commit, I couldn't commit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just couldn't commit. So y'all, I didn't, I bought the concealer. I got it in the shade 44, which is a medium deep neutral. I like it, it blends well. I usually like mixing it with my Fenty Beauty, um, just for a little pizzazz, you know, sometimes. But it's a looser consistency than the Fenty Beauty, but um, I feel like it dries into your, like it turns just into a second skin. Which, whereas the Fenty Beauty is more of like coverage, coverage, this turns into skin. It makes your skin just look luminous and just like, mm, like, I just got a facial, basically. Like, damn, this is good. This is really, really good. Next, y'all, this is so small and trivial, but it's the Sephora uh, pencil sharpener. I love it. Uh, I use it for my lip pencils, whatever have you. It's amazing. I have nothing bad to say about her. The reason I added her to this haul because it is on sale for $3. Grab a couple, leave some for me. Don't be greedy. I've already purchased like three so far, but now that the sale is here and it's going to be an extra 30% off of $3, I think I'm about to order like five more because why not? I lose sharpeners so much. It's, it's criminal. It's actually criminal. Even the ones that I just get from the Dollar Tree in a pack, I don't even know where those are. I don't know. Is someone eating my sharpeners? I don't. My baby is not even old enough yet to be like misplacing things. You know, like she's not even crawling yet. So like, where are they going? I don't know, but get it. It's okay, so next we have two benefit products. This is Precise My Brow Pencil. Y'all, this thing, it like literally, turns into brow hairs it's crazy I don't know how they did it it's such a skinny little applicator I got it in the shade 5 it's like a dark brown I think it's like their darkest brown amazing then I have their 24 hour brow setter which is a brow gel this is good I feel like if you have bushier brows you may need something a little stronger I'm not sure but um I really like it personally and my brows are like medium they're like they're there they're not quite like thin and like skinny but they're also not quite thick I actually don't touch my brows at all as far as like waxing or this or that um, so their natural state is just what you guys are seeing and then I'm applying the product to it so I've recently fallen in love with just brushing my brows and then following up with the refi uh, brow gel after this one since that one's tinted Mwah. like easiest brow and go ever i love that combo it's amazing next we have actually i got the whole set okay i got the whole set this is the salt and stone um line basically they just recently started carrying this at sephora y'all so i got the shower gel this is the body cream and then i also got the um aluminum free deodorant y'all Stop what you're doing. This smells like freaking Le Labo Santal 33. Just like it. I mean, <laughs> just freaking like it. I don't even, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you. The lotion, it rubs right in, soaks right into the skin. I feel like this will be a perfect purse lotion because after you put it on, you can still use your hands for other things. It's not going to leave you super greasy or make your hands slippery, stuff like this. So I, I, I call these types of lotions functional lotions. Um, very, very good. I personally wouldn't put on like a skin potions body cream and think I'm about to write something down. Like, well, it's about to be grease everywhere. And y'all know I love skin potions. But like, yeah, these are more so like functional lotions. So I like it. I'm not mad at it. it and my skin is soft. It's glowy. Um, and it smells good. The scent actually projects like it's actually there. I'm so impressed by that. This was $20 even. So y'all see the shape like it's not a huge size, not a big body lotion, but I feel like it's a decent enough amount for $20. The shower gel y'all, amazing. It feels like you're in a spa when you're showering with it. Like I don't, 
I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It left my skin hydrated. I'm obsessed. Like, I'm actually obsessed with this line. It smells so good. And I cannot believe that it smells just like the Lilabo 33. Like, the Santal 33. Y'all know how much that costs? Y'all know how much that costs? Lilabo is so expensive. So, I love that these are easier to obtain. This was $36 or something like that. And the body lotion was $20. The deodorant was $20. And all of these scents actually like project like this is good this is good I love it I'm so in love I haven't used the deodorant yet but I used it in another scent I have the rose and oud one it's like any natural deodorant not like Tom's or like some of those ones where you put it on and it makes you stink this smells heavenly I actually will compare it to the Sol de Janeiro deodorants the red one to be specific because I haven't tried the other deodorants from Sol de Janeiro but I feel like it's the same quality like you put it on you smell the fragrance for a couple of hours like it actually really smells good and, and like it really lasts under your pits it's really good however it's still a natural deodorant so would I wear this in a hundred degree weather and be like huh it didn't protect me no I'm gonna pull out my freaking Donna Karen cashmere uh, deodorant okay since I brought it up I might as well talk about it this is the Sol de Janeiro Rio Dio scents this is deodorant and this is the body wash y'all yeah amazing amaze balls to be exact this is beautiful it lasts like for hours it just like I'll just be catching whiffs of my armpits and I'm like dang that's my deodorant smells amazing um y'all this was like $15 super affordable love it can't say enough good things about it the body wash y'all I don't even know if y'all can see how low it is it's like right here she's gone she's gone it's so good I have all three of their body washes you'll see the other ones in another haul because y'all know I'm finna be posting every day but this is amazing they all do different things so this one is supposed to be clarifying it has AHAs in it and BHAs it smells freaking amazing like ah, I love it I don't have anything negative to say about it and y'all are gonna hear that a lot because I'm truly sharing my favorites with you guys not just some random stuff I bought like I love this stuff so I like I'm sorry I don't have anything bad to say about it y'all this smells so good it's like a floral vanilla like I don't even know they they do their scents so well they're so unique I just I love it y'all yeah yeah I just gotta tap it and then y'all should just know that's all that's all if you have oily skin you haven't tried this yet what do you mean what do you mean this is amazing it goes on like hairspray you gotta hold your breath when you're spraying it okay she's strong all right um uh, it's amazing though it sucks your makeup in it keeps it still all day i have freaking went out fell asleep because i was all drunk or whatever I woke up face was beat to the gods still like this setting spray is insane okay it's insane i love it i live for it okay next this is the oat cleansing balm from the inky list um you guys this is awesome this is awesome and i'm not even a fan of well i'm normally not a fan of cleansing balms and cleansing oils for removing makeup because i have oily skin so i'm like why am i putting grease on my skin like i just and it makes sense to me but y'all this is good use one of those like magic makeup eraser things with it don't just rinse it off with your hands i don't see how people do that and they're like yeah that's it i'm going to bed now I'm like what girl that makeup is still on your face oh. huh use the magic eraser makeup remover with this yeah new skin it's gonna be new skin at underneath that makeup amazing i always follow up with another cleanser i double cleanse and by the end of the night my skin is so refreshed and just so plump and hydrated and just amazing and the best part about it this big thing this is not a mini this is full size thirteen dollars thirteen dollars yeah amazing i'm gonna get a backup because why not i'm about to, i'm actually gonna order it as soon as i'm done this haul because i just reminded myself because what that's amazing 13 dollars yeah 
and Inky List. They just released a set for the sale. I'm not sure if the Oat Cleansing Balm is part of the set. It is! It's like one of those like Discovery sets or whatever. Try it out. It's amazing. I think the Discovery set is like 23 bucks. Y'all, this is empty. <laughs> empty as empty can be. This is the Tower 28 SOS spray. I don't even know like like what? Like what? I feel the difference in my skin every time I spray this onto my skin. I don't and I when I ordered this as you see I got the mini which was like $12 and I wasn't expecting anything I just I was just trying it out because all the girlies were talking about it I didn't expect it to do anything for my skin really it does something for my skin um I kind of view it as kind of like an antibacterial type of spray like to just keep the extra germs and the gunk of the day and everything just away from your face um I love it. I use it in the mornings. I use it at night. I'm obsessed with it. Like this is amazing. I've ordered the full size already as soon as the sale launched. I'd suggest starting out with just the $12 small bottle. See if you like it. And yeah, cause you know, everybody's skin is different and everything works differently for everybody. But I can say I've seen a positive difference in my skin ever since I started using this. And I love it. I live by it. Also, when I feel like my skin's feeling more like textury and I feel like I'm about to break out. I have some new zits and stuff like that. This instantly just refreshes my skin. It just, it does something. It does something. This basically is just like one ingredient. Hold on, let me tell you guys. So this is just hyphalorous acid. I hope I pronounced it right. But some people were like, oh, I can just get it off Amazon and make my own. I mean, kudos to you. Like, do it. I've, I've put in my time doing the home remedies I have I've, I've paid my dues I've, I've done my share of home remedies and this and that I don't want to anymore damn it I'm busy damn it I'm busy if I like a product I'm just gonna buy it all right I'm just gonna buy it but you know feel free to check on Amazon and try to mix it yourself if you'd like uh, I feel like this is worth every penny I really love it even though the ingredient list is super simple and you could probably just make it on your own Okay, next I have another deodorant. This is the Necessaire deodorant gel. Love this. Another aluminum-free all-natural deodorant, y'all. But this is a rollerball. So, absolutely amazing, especially when I'm in between shaving and it's a little bushy under there. Love this gel. Yeah. Sometimes, and oh, if I'm wearing black. I, I really love this. I feel like she's she's a strong natural deodorant. Yeah, I feel like I don't really sweat that much when I have this on. It's definitely more protection than the ones that aren't, you know, the powder deodorants like this and this. These are really good. I will say for natural deodorants, these are amazing. I actually really like them. But this one's just a little more protection. So I really like that. I don't know if it's because it's a gel and it gets to penetrate your skin a little more. But I love it. Love the eucalyptus scent. And it comes in like this glass. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It comes in like a glass bottle absolutely love it this was affordable as well I don't even think this was $20 I'll double check put the price on the screen I hope they didn't increase it but super affordable love it 100% recommend okay last on the list guys is the Kate Summersville exfoliate facial um, treatment basically they call this like Hollywood's two-minute facial yeah I put this on so I'm one of those people when I put on a face mask or conditioner deep conditioner hair mask whatever type of mask on my body or on my skin or my hair I leave it on probably not on my body because then I won't be able to move but like if it's my face or hair I leave it on for hours I don't follow the two minutes thing no especially if it's a deep conditioner or a hair mask like what I leave that on all day so face mask, I usually get my wine, I'll walk around, I'll start doing things. Like, you know, I'll start doing things around the house whenever I put on a face mask. Don't play those games with her. Don't do that with her. Something told me not to play with her. And so I actually set my timer for two minutes and I actually followed the rules. And <laughs> it's strong. It's so strong. But my skin felt buttery and renewed after I rinsed it off. It was amazing. Like... It, it felt like I got a facial. I don't, yeah, two minute facial. It was a two minute facial. My skin was like glowing. 
it was so healthy supple just like mwah. I followed up with I didn't even put on a serum because I didn't want to bother it I just put on a light moisturizer and called it a day this is amazing I love it 100% uh, recommend this teeny tiny thing was $24 but she's worth it I feel like because you can't use this like every day you definitely it's gonna last for a good amount of time so 100% recommend this okay y'all that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and thanks so much for sticking around until the end I will see you guys next time bye <laughs>